All right. Hello, everyone. It's Joseph here. And welcome back to my YouTube channel. And in today's video, I am going to be teaching you guys how to install Sirens to 5M, preferably with a server that is running Luxor Control, made by Trevor Barnes as well. So you are going to need three things. Archive fix to re-encrypt your files for 5M, so you do not get the game modified game error. Uh, number two, you are going to need to use OpenIV, which is the tool to change your sirens and to install mods to GTA slash 5M in general. Uh, number three, you are going to need to preferably to play on the server that is running Luxark control. So you can use the most out of this tutorial for your game. All right. So without further ado, let's get right into it. But before that, I just wanted to give a special thank you and a shout out to Kaden Franklin, AKA Kobe Xanther for teaching me how to install sirens back in the day using archive fix so thank you so much for that so apart from that uh, let's get right right into the video let's get started so i am going to be using two sirens to combine them together i'm going to be using two additional uh vehicle dead air files which essentially mute the unimportant game audio files that you may never hear in the game in 5m apart from that that's all we are going to be running with. Obviously, make sure that you have backups of your default um, sirens as well. And apart from that, uh, let's get right into it. So, like I said, I am going to be running the tutorial with Luxart Control. It's made by Trevor Barnes. It's The ELS clicks in it are made by a faction, and it's coded by Lieutenant Kane based off of ELS. So we are going to be using the several following files for the game. We are going to be using the Airhorn EQD, the Siren PA-20A Whale, Siren 2, Police Warning, Ambulance Warning, Fire Truck Horn, Fire Truck Whale A1, and Fire Truck Quick A1. Okay, so make sure that your server is set up to have those ID numbers set for each vertical slot. Okay, so here is an example of our server emergency response role play of what we use as well. Now I am considering adding in the ambulance warning siren for the police car slot as well for our server. But we have like 30 cars for all departments in our server. So it is going to take me a bit to do, but I'm not going to be doing that today. But I can rest assure you that it works. So apart from that, uh, here's just a few examples. Um, our engine is running with the power call from the ambulance slot for the wording file. Um, it also has the fire horn also. Uh, the Yelp and the Whale. All right. So apart from that, mostly everything in this is fire truck related. All right, and ambulance related. So I will show you guys what the sirens sound like once we get into the game. But uh, yeah, I just wanted to mention Luxart because most of you watching probably didn't realize that this is going to be exclusively for Luxart. Okay. So let's get started. Uh, I am going to be using a temp folder here. We can open that up. Okay, make sure that you have extracted the vanilla OAC so you have a clean folder to work with. Okay, that's going to take a bit to open up. Okay, all right, so firstly, um, I'm going to be using a siren, please siren called Code 3 Microcom. Okay. So I'm going to be using the raw tones since I have already extracted my vehicles folder. Now your files are not going to be set up like this already, but you are going to rename the following files to this. So I will put the Sirens Alleyway section in the description so you guys can copy and paste your settings if you wish. Okay, so the first file is going to be the Airhorn EQD. The next one is going to be Ambulance Warning. Next one is Police Warning, Siren 2, Siren PA-20A 
whale. Okay, make sure it has the corresponding name to the correct file, obviously. But apart from that, um, we can drag and drop these into here. I've already pre-configured these. But you just rename the files to what each file siren is. Okay. So for me, I have, for reference, um, the power call for the ambulance warning ID in Luxart. Renamed to ambulance warning in my game folder. Uh, police warning is obviously the priority siren. Air horn EQD is the default air horn. Obviously, um, police warning should be number four. We've already covered that. Siren two, siren two. If I can find that, let me see. Scroll up. Siren two is going to be the Yelp, and then the PA two away whale was obviously the main siren, which is going to be the whale, which you can reference uh, here as well. So. Next up, once you have installed those to your game, we can back out. I'm also going to be using the FDNY sirens as well. These come with three files, a, a Q, a PA200, and the Firehorn as well. Okay, so again, make sure these names are set to the corresponding file in Luxart for reference. Okay. So I believe this one is already set up with the correct name. So we can copy and paste this file into your vehicle's fo uh, folder here. Next up is going to be the PA200. Now this has two variations. Okay. It has a long version and a short version. I am going to be using the long version in this. Again, make sure it has the correct corresponding name. Siren. Fire truck quick L1. Okay, make sure it is that there. All right, now I'm going to be replacing this in there. Okay, apart from that, uh, let's go back out. We can now change the fire horn. There's three variations. I like the first one better, so I'm going to be using this. Again, make sure the file name is the same as the siren tone table file name okay so let's locate fire truck horn okay make sure that this is set to exactly how it is here which it is okay so we can copy and paste this into there apart from that i think that's all about it we've done the two sirens for the fdny we have done the fire horn apart from that that's all about it for the tutorial with file explorer um, but right now, um, the most important thing, if we go to, um, where is it? Okay, it's back out of this. We can go to Vilicals Dead Air. Okay, uh, make sure you have your FDNY Sirens folder uh, displayed. You can copy and paste these these files into your game folder here. Okay, these have 172 files already, so there should be plenty of files that are not currently replaced. Okay, so from this, I'll, I'll link this in the description. So this has five additional files that are not included in this folder. So th those are some extra files to reduce your um, Saren folder size. Okay. So once you are done with this, you can go back to your temp folder, your vehicles folder, and then you can copy and paste all of these into your game folder there. Okay, you should have 553 files in this folder alone. Okay, so apart from that, I think that's all about it. Okay, so now let's... Just install this to OpenIV. Now, again, make sure that you have a clean copy of your Bilical AWC. Okay, so now you can drag and drop these into here. Make sure that that's okay, yeah. 
Now you can delete the Villicals folder in here already. You can right click open formats or just drag and drop the uh, OAC into there for the uh, open formats. So apart from that, that is how to install Sirens to 5M. Now, now it's not over yet. Now let's install the fix for game modified error for 5M. So you're probably wondering how we can do that. So for Sirens, uh, let's go back to here. I'm just going to put this in a new folder here. You can right click and extract or just drag and drop the resident RPF into a clean folder here. Now this is the part of the video when we use archive fix. Okay, so make sure that you have downloaded this. Drag the RPF resident RPF onto the arch archive fix exe. Okay. It should pop up with the window. Okay, that's good. All right, now um, there's two destinations that I install this to, this re-encrypted file, back into the mods folder, but also into the original game folder as well. So we can now uh, go to GTA 5, x64 audio, SFX, and we can now put this file into the SFX folder here. Okay. Now, one thing I do like to do just in case if something doesn't work is I like to extract the update RPF file also. Okay, so just drag and drop this. Now, this is recommended, but this is just so um, this doesn't come up with the game modified error for 5M because you have modified your game files without re-encrypting your files with archive fix. Okay, so do the same thing here. Use this for archive fix. Okay, that is done. Now again, you can put it into your mods folder. Now if you go back into your game directory, um, you can also now use that update RPF into your game directory also. Now it is going to take a bit. It is 1.6 gigabytes, so it is going to take a little bit to copy and replace. So apart from that, that is how to install Sirens to 5M. Okay, so now let's get into 5M. Let's wait for this to finish copying. So next up, we can go to 5M and see how good these Sirens work in the game. So currently for our server, I don't have the power call set up for the police car slot as well. Only the ambulances and the fire engines so far but i will definitely add the power call option to add the police car slot also but apart from that let's launch 5m and see how good our siren files sound all right so we are finally in the game now so let's quickly go over the police sirens first uh, you can go to audio options you can also turn on uh, the siren box sounds as well I do have them for the manual button and air horn button clicks also. So if you press 1, this is our first siren. If you press number 2, that is the second siren tone. If you press number 3, that is the high low. Now if you press E, that is the air horn sound as well. For press 2, this is the main siren. If you press 3, this is the second siren tone. 